This video has been made possible thanks to EA Game Changers. Hey guys, it's Peaches and welcome to The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. And I am so excited to finally show you guys what I've been working on for the past few days. Because it's been, it's been a ride. It's been a wild ride. Um, I've been playing Realm of Magic for the last few days and um, I'm having a lot of fun. I have to say, I don't... The Sims 4, the Sims 4 team that works on the game packs always nails it. I mean, it is... I am enjoying it so much. I just... I can't. <laughs> I can't. I know some people might think that I'm a little bit biased because I get early access and all that, but... This is one of those that I will definitely buy with my own money and uh, that's saying a lot <laughs> because as you you may or may not know the last couple of, of reviews that I've made I was not uh, super thrilled you know um, Island Living was not even though it was really pretty the content was really pretty and the, the island was beautiful I there was something missing uh, for gameplay but this game pack is really really fun and um, it feels a lot like The Sims 4 making magic so that's that's saying a lot for me and um, I'm really I'm really excited I'm really excited for you guys to see um, all of the content that people have been making and uh, hopefully soon <laughs> hopefully tomorrow um, I hope you guys get to see the overview that I've been working on for the past few days. It's been a little it's been a little hard to find the time with work and all that, but I'm doing my best. But anyways, today we are building a whimsical witch watch. Witch watch. As soon as I saw that we had finally um, staircases that we can just, you know, bend and move around and stuff. We don't have spiral staircases, but we can do something like that, which is really cool. So as soon as I saw that we finally were able to do that, this was my first idea. I was like, I want to make a tower and, um, and just, you know, finally have the space to put stairs in between. So this is it. And I don't know if you saw it, but on the top, uh, on the top floor I put a little balcony and then I removed some of the fence because um, if you saw the live streams or maybe you didn't see it you can have brooms as a spellcaster they're not witches they're spellcasters but you can have a broom and you can fly around and I f figure that whoever spellcaster leaves here can just I don't know they can go all the way to the top and fly from there it's not really practical because you can fly from anywhere, but I thought it would be like a fun little detail to add to this tower. And here I am struggling a little bit with the stairs because I was like, how do I place this <laughs> so it works out? I managed to figure it out at some point, but... Oh, and they also and it also seems like they fixed the uh, roof coming through the walls when you make when you make like a little room with a fence inside. Um, but in this specific build, the roof was kind of showing next to the fence. It was a little weird, but point is, that's not happening anymore, and I'm really happy about that. Um, there is a another glitch that showed up, though, which is if you place any columns, they kind of poke through the th through the roof, <laughs> like they're the highest um, wall height for some reason. Um, they, the devs are, are aware of that and they'll probably fix it pretty soon, but just an FYI, if you updated your game, uh, keep an eye on the columns because they probably, they're probably now way too high for your walls. <laughs> Anyways, so this tower, I, it's, it's a little strange. It's a little strange, it's messy, there's tons of big old books uh, laying around everywhere underneath the chairs and underneath the sofas and all that and um, yeah I had lots of fun building this house I guess I should probably play test it before I um, upload it upload it and you know tweak some things that are necessary but don't worry I, I will do it before I upload it um, 
but yeah, I don't know. The the items. The items are very, very pretty. I am I'm in love. I'm in love with all the build and buy items. I wish there was more wallpapers, I guess. But other than that, I don't know. It's the we have new counters. We don't have do we have island counters? I think we do this time. Um, but there is no overhead cabinets for this kitchen, so there's that. <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure something out as a builder, but I think that the items that stand out for me the most were the windows. The windows and the doors are just so cool. So they have tons of swatches, they have plain swatches, and then they also have stained glass swatches. So I think I do end up placing a couple of them so you can see them, but I will go more in depth uh, with all the items, of course, in my overview videos. But they are so beautiful. They have this, like, I don't know, they have like roses, stained glass roses, and some of them has have like a moon, a moon and stars type of theme. I don't know, they have like different types of stained glass uh, swatches. It's really pretty, really, really pretty. And the doors too, so you can match them. Really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with all of the items. The curtains that I'm placing right now, I'm not so sure about the curtains. They're a little weird looking. They're kind of fairy. I guess that the theme of this pack for the items are it's more like fairy-like and less witchy, if that makes any sense. Which I'm not mad about. I really like it. But um, it's yeah, it's definitely definitely a different type of witchy, witchy stuff. <laughs> By the way, I'm meaning to ask you guys: Do you think that I should make an overview going over everything, or should I make two separate videos, one of them talking about the gameplay and all of that, and the other one talking or showcasing rather um, the creative sim and the build and buy items because um, I'm debating if I should do it all together make a longer video or I should just make maybe two videos for people who are not people who do not want to spoil the um, the gameplay if that makes sense I don't know let me know what you think I I want to know it doesn't really make a difference to me I just it just means that I have to make two videos instead of one, but it's up to you. Just let me know and also if you have any questions in regards to Realm of Magic and or anything that I would like to that you would like me to go over and the overview. Um, yeah, just also comment on that and I will do my best to answer all of your questions and all of that. And um, yeah, so I'm about to start off on the um, top uh, story of the watch tower, however you want to call it, and I know it's a little weird to have the bathroom like that. There's like, I figured that whoever lives here is maybe a potion maker, and um, which is one of the it's one of the types of magic magic that you can choose is, uh, to make potions, and I figured that the uh, spellcaster lives here does like to focus on that and they have a little I don't know I, I don't want to call it a greenhouse because there's not a glass there's not enough light in there but they like to have all some of their plants up there because the humidity that builds up in the bathroom helps with the plants I don't know <laughs> I know it's a little weird but I do I, Listen, a long time ago, I did have two plants in my bathroom. I know it's a weird place to have a plant, but the only reason they survived is because of the humidity from the shower. So, I don't know. I know it's it's a weird train of thought. I get it. But <laughs> anyways, um, and here I'm starting off with the landscape. And once again, I do pull out some of the uh, debug menu items and... Um, I did only use, I think I, did I mention this? I did only use a uh, base game and Realm of Magic. So if you decide to get this pack, this is all you need. And the debug items as well are just uh, base game and Realm of Magic. So it's pretty cool. And uh, I use th those vines are a little hard to place because they're not wall items. They're just 
again, debug items that just float around. You, ha you have to use the uh, move objects to float them up and get them stuck to the wall, but it looks cool. I like it. And yeah, I think I do play some more plants and more trees and um, then I make a couple paths with uh, with step stones that are also from the de debug menu. And I put a cauldron on the back of the house. So, so yeah, as I said, because I imagine a potion, an alchemist, that is what it's called. It's an alchemist lives in this house. And of course they need their big old cauldron, which is kind of classic of Maxis to make something huge. If you have seen any pictures or the live stream or whatever, we have two different cauldrons and they're all huge. They're gigantic, but you can cook mac and cheese in them. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I think they said there was like 18 servings in a cauldron for a, for like mac and cheese or chili or something like that. <laughs> so you can you can make a big old meal in one of these in one of these puppies. But yeah, um, I think we're coming up almost at the end of the video. I think I do edit this entrance if you do own like laundry day or something like that I imagine that this little room that goes to the back could be like like a laundry room or something so that's why I left it like that but because I wanted to um, just focus on realm of magic you know I just didn't put anything else just put a coat rag and things like that but anyways as always, this build will be linked in the description down below. It will take you directly to the gallery so you can download it. And I know that Realm of Magic is not out yet, but when you do get it, if you do get it, you know where it is. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next video.